Hello, welcome to this channel, Claudemir here again, and today I'm gonna talk about the Contacam. That's a free software you can use to record your IP cameras. Here I'm recording a high vision camera. You can also record USB cameras and you can record webcams, all right? So here I have a, uh, an example of high vision mini PTZ connected via cables. As you can see here, I have my computer connected to a switch. And in this switch, I have the high vision camera. And I'm also connected here to the internet, but I can remove the cable that goes to my router if I want to, and still keep the high vision camera working, meaning I don't depend on um, have internet, okay? Some people ask, can I record uh, using contact can, for example, without internet? Yes, you can. If I remove the cable here, you can see that the image still keeps working, okay? I'm going to do that later, right? Right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something here that's working with the IP camera. Also here, I have a cable connected to my DS, DSLR camera. It's a Canon DSLR, so it's working as a webcam connected here via USB cable. As you can see, this USB cable connects to my Canon DSLR uh, camera, right? And also have here a uh, wide cam. It's a, an expensive camera, also connected here to the software and it's working, all right? I'm gonna close this wide cam and also the DSLR camera because I noticed that the software has some glitches if you try to use a lot of cameras at the same time, okay? So here, for example, it's using right now 5%, 7%, around that of the CPU. If I try to use like three cameras at the same time, it goes like 20, 30% of the CPU, and I start seeing some glitches uh, as I'm seeing here. Some glitches sometimes happen here. So guys, this is for your home application. The software, it's not for your uh, client or for a professional application, all right? So I have the information here on my blog about this camera, the review. So I mentioned here that you can also use blue wires or looks riot if you need uh, a different solution for a customer, for example. So here I also have information about uh, looks riot as a professional software and it's free. Okay, you can also come here to learn CTV and look for this free VMS software, looks riot, or you can use a paid software like blue wires, all right? So uh, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm saying here that Contact Cam, it's a software you can use, but it's for your personal use. I recommend for your personal use only, right? So it works with uh, RTSP protocol. So your camera needs to have this protocol. Here's the information about what type of cameras that work with the software. Here are tests that I did with IP camera, also webcam and it's a donationware software. If you donate $10, you can remove this information from here. There's always information that it's, uh, uh, you didn't donate yet, okay? If you don't care about the information, you don't need to pay the $10, but the developers are working there. They deserve, you can like donate $10, okay? It's not that much, guys. So here I have a list of compatible IP cameras. You can visit the blog and see it. Here, the information about the wise can, the test that I did. And it's very simple to connect the camera. Just come to camera, network IP camera, and you input the IP, port number, username, and password, and it's done. You start working like that, okay? So let me just open it again so you can see live. This is live uh, image from the software working with the high vision camera. So here you can click record and choose the motion record, the sensitivity, let's say 60, 50, and then the camera records only with motion. You can just adjust here or use continuous recording. You can also click here to uh, view the recordings on the web browser or in the file explorer, explorer. So here I have all the files generated by the camera is going to record every time there is a motion, okay? So here uh, I have this, the recordings on my local drive. It's pretty easy to use. As you can see here, I can do extra stuff, like for example, select a, 
draw active zones, let's say 5% main sensitivity. And as you can see, let me just wait here for a while. And when you pass a car, you see on red that detects motion. So we only records when you come here, for example, and you select this area with this sensitivity. Okay. You can select like this and works when cars are passing by there. That's just to prevent false positives. And also you can record less when there's the motion, let's say on the trees or something like that. Okay. So pretty simple and uh, it works. And let me show you here how I can uh, insert a camera. Let me just remove this zone here. As you can see, I have camera. I can come here to network IP camera. And then I select a camera like uh, my PTZ, for example. And then here I input the uh, IP of the camera. Here the port, username and password, and it works. And I have to look for the camera brand here have generic rtsp and other brands here i have a lot of them okay axis and crest and a lot of different cameras and you just need to look for yours here and they have to work with rtsp as you can see here most of them are rtsp some of them work differently with http okay http so that's the way you just select here and you click OK. It's going to work if your camera is compatible. So I recommend you take a look at here and information here in the blog so you can understand more and make sure this is for you. It's for only a small application, as I said, in your home, for example. And don't go crazy with this. Don't install for a customer. I don't recommend this. I know that developers are good. They are developing this software, but it, it is simple okay and that's it guys if you like this video uh, please subscribe to the channel leave your thumbs up and also click the bell notification to receive more information about videos like that thank you very much and i see you in the next video